Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Today I actually kind of wanted to talk about inside jokes. Something that honestly I don't even know if I ever would have thought of talking about if it wasn't for a recent event that actually happened um, last night actually. Something that I was hmm, thinking about for a hot minute as well. That being said, um, I actually do find inside jokes very intriguing and... <laughs> I think the one downside about them is if you walk in on uh, like a group of people telling randomly telling an inside joke amongst each other and you're like, wait, I don't get it. What? You're not supposed to. That's why it's called that. Duh. Everyone. I mean, it, there's no brainer statement. I know, but even still, I think the concept is interesting and it leaves for I guess kind of humor amongst a certain select group. And I know this, again, it might be considered a no-brainer, but it's more content, a contemplation statement. The thing that, like, even, even me and my very small friend group still have um, inside jokes of our own. <clears throat> I'll use one as an example that can kind of, at least some people might be able to pick up on it. Uh, the only reason it's an inside joke is because it's, as far as my knowledge goes, it's the only one that, we're the, we're, we're the only ones that actually have thought of this. So a while ago, as this example gives, a while ago there was a song uh, released, um, Muffin Time, I believe it's what it's called. It's Muffin Time, I believe is what it's called. Uh, it was by the Gregory Brothers, and it was kind of a parody song of Tomska's ASDF um, movie uh, videos. And... For those of you who haven't seen that animated series, first of all, I do recommend it. It's really good. It gets really dark after a while, but it is really good. Um, I remember one of the episodes, it's literally like an animation of a muffin asking people to eat him and claiming it's muffin time. Um, <clears throat> and I guess I normally when we hang out, I have music playing and that is one of the songs that plays and twisting the words a little bit we were playing um a game at the time um Aaron was actually he's part of that group he was the one playing uh, a game at the time and I was just kind of conversing with him while he was doing it uh the game he was playing was uh, uh from software's Elden Ring and he was doing a, a very specific uh, attack and after charging up he was about to slash down but right at, right at the end of the charge he pretty much exclaimed it's muffin time and then killed the enemy um I know it's kind of a twisted reverse version of what is actually going on in the animation but because he and I actually kind of understood the context and it and just, we just found it humorous kind of became an inside joke just to pinpoint certain aspects of <clears throat> the game that was being played again Elden Ring um, and just if we can find some kind of obscure reference go all out on it just make fun of it as much as possible a good example of like this kind of idea um, would be the hardest boss in that game by far millennia um, now this individual Aaron has one game he's played uh, was the original Final Fantasy 7 way back in like I think it was like 96 97 so, so around that time era um, and the final boss is a guy named Sephiroth who has a move that when put into 3D perspective Millennia's attack looked exactly like his, so we started calling her Mama Sephiroth. Sephiroth being probably one of the hardest bosses back then. It kind of just gives another example. The move was pretty much the exact same, but a little bit longer. Um, <clears throat> these are just two examples of kind of what led to several inside jokes. And the reason that one, this, it's the same inside joke, but with different categories. Um, like I said, just look at an action and then make a reference 
jokingly and make some obscure um, side story shenanigans to go along with it. I guess a good <clears throat> non-game related one that I could probably pull out is actually the character Bob. Um, I mean, he originally was created through a game, yes, but over time we started discussing like different potential skits that this character could be used for because he's supposed to be like your um I wouldn't call him a stereotype redneck quite he's he's a stereotype drunk let's put it that way extremely stupid and I mean he, you ask him anything and he'll give you an answer that makes no sense and we he started out just as like your generic stereotype drunk where he drinks all the time for who knows some kind of depressing reason that no one knows about maybe except for me <laughs> and Aaron probably if we've talked about it I don't know if we have anyway um, the inside joke became just using characters like that and creating like little skits scenarios um, these skit ideas they're still technically scenarios because they were never put into action but they were humorous as all hell uh, I don't know. I found them humorous, at least. I think he does, too, because he usually comes up with them, so... I don't know. These are kind of, like, our... Uh, what we go off of inside jokes. Outside of a couple other things, but I'm not going to get into those, because they can come off... The, the, the inside jokes that are outside of that category can... Like any inside joke, can come off as super offensive. So I'm not going to go into that, um, but thinking about that kind of stuff kind of just got me intrigued on how important, in a way, inside jokes can actually be as well. And the reason behind this, I feel like, is it just, it creates a central, in a way. It creates a central border of how, you, how someone would think or how you'd feel about circumstance. If an inside joke is presented amongst the two and it just doesn't match, like, uh, a a any kind of thought process that you have, like, say you have a morale that matches up to a certain standard and the inside joke just presented suddenly breaks that standard, I don't know. Keep guild eyes, I guess? Or adapt. It's really up to you. It depends on what kind of person you are. But that's the thing. It's like... Inside jokes, they're great. They're awesome when they work and when they're around the right people. Now, a lot of people know how to adapt that. A, a lot of people know how to categorize that. Like for me, I've created more than just the inside jokes I've talked about where it's like uh, like with um, Aaron and that friend group. Um, <clears throat> but like I also do inside jokes at work. And generally, those are usually work-related inside jokes. A lot of people say don't have fun at work, but if that was the case, no one would want to go. I mean, sure, when money was first involved, that would be a good enough reward, but nowadays, please. It's a psychological thing for those who don't know, and I could probably talk about that in a different video, because I do actually know quite a bit about that since I did do... Um, I, when I was in college doing a psychology class, I actually did... Or a psychology-based class, I should say. Um, I actually did do a paper involving that, so I do at least know enough to be able to talk about it. So I don't know if you want to hear some. If you want to hear me talk about that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. But I digress. Um, when it comes to like the inside jokes at a workplace, it's good. Obviously, keep it suitable for work, but don't be dry. Recently, I'll admit I've been that way, but I mean it's just because I got nothing. Somebody has been draining the energy out of me when I go there. Okay, that's a joke on its own, sort of. It's me messing around, man. In a way. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I think in any condition, inside jokes can kind of be a binder, in a way. They can connect certain individuals, certain faults. And it's actually a good, it's a, it's a good way to create a good environment as long as it's done right. Like I said, be around the right people, use the right kind of inside joke, and you're golden. 
be around you know certain individuals and use the wrong type of inside joke that might not match the person or might not match the friendship or bond of some sort you're trying to make it probably won't end well that doesn't particularly mean you should hide any inside in, in, attempted inside jokes that match you it just probably means that you know and either you're hanging around with someone who probably will inevitably not quite match up to that or you just need to wait and adapt into it or you need to hope that they do it's always one of those three things however for the times where it does work inside jokes can be very for lack of another term nice I know it's a vague word to use but it can be a sense it, it, it can be a variant of comfort in a way where it's like some inside jokes if when you share the proper inside jokes amongst each other it's that connection between the person that's telling it and the person who's receiving it or persons it really depends on how many people are there um, <clears throat> And if it connects well amongst everyone, it's going to create a tighter, closer relationship amongst all. And when it becomes a consistency, that's when you know you're pretty much golden. But if it lapsed, if it starts breaking at the seams at times, change it up, or maybe it's just not the time. I don't know. But at its core, when they do work, inside jokes are great. And personally, for me, I can't really deny that. I, 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 I mean, the fact that I'm, it's not because it's the fact that I'm saying it, it's more the fact that even if someone else were to tell me that they're great, I would have to agree. I love them. And yes, I've come across some before. I will admit, me personally, I've come across some groups who have different inside jokes amongst each other um, before, and it has felt a bit awkward, but I mean, they're called inside jokes for a reason. They're meant for those inside of the group be it being told to. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave this here. What are your guys' opinions on inside jokes? Uh, would you do you think um, it would be preferred to exist or no? I don't, that's not the original wording I was going to use. Would you prefer to have them there or would you prefer to not? Let's leave it at that. Let us know in the comments below. If you want us to discuss anything else on this channel, make sure to let us know down there as well. Uh, if you want to check out any other discussion rant type videos that have been discussed on here prior to this, click the link on this side of my head. Um, we'll have plenty of there for you in case you missed anything, which if you watch all of, all of the 300 plus of there that's so far, I gotta applaud you for that because that's a lot to watch. A lot of venting or ranting or discussive topics. However, if this doesn't quite flow your boat, but you stuck to the end of it, first of all, thank you. It's really much, it's very appreciated. Um, but secondly, why not check the link on this side? And you might be able to find something you may enjoy a little bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys. And we hope to see all of you in another one. See you guys later.